Hello everyone, I'm back again for another 5 Minute Friday. Today we're going to be talking about uh, this idea that progressive policies, and maybe even you could say now Democrat policies, are more compassionate than conservative policies. So uh, that's something that I'm here to kind of talk about and kind of refute. And so the idea here is that on 5 Minute Fridays, we refute an idea or talk about an idea, discuss an idea in five minutes or less. I want to start off with some examples, okay? So uh, one of the things conservatives get charged with all the time, we get called every ugly name in the book, uh, racist, heartless, this phobe, that phobe. It's kind of an ad hominem attack because frankly, you know, I'm not really afraid of anything. Uh, my God is my savior and I know he's going to protect me and I'm not afraid of anything. I'm, anything that I stand against or I don't think is a great idea to make public policy doesn't mean I'm afraid of it. So one big issue would be the border policy, open or closed borders. Well, for one thing, I'd like to point out that this is just a kind of a silly idea to begin with. I, maybe I'll make a whole video on this, but if you don't have borders, you don't have a country. It's as simple as that, but maybe I'll break it down in a little more detail later. We're not compassionate because we won't let just everyone in the border open and free and let everyone flood in, which is weird because I'm told constantly that America is evil and terrible and systemically racist and awful, so why would anybody want to get in? But that's neither here nor there. But let's say it is a good place, and I agree that it is a good place to be. It's one of the best places in the world, arguably the best, up until the last year or so, one of the freest. And I would argue, uh, you know, easily the freest. So let's say it's a good thing that people want to come to America, that, that America is a good thing that people want to come to. Let's go from there and then we'll tackle this. So conservatives don't want people to be here. They're not compassionate. Well, the issue is that, you know, we do have a nation and we do let more people in than many other nations. If you allow anybody in for any reason at any time, uh, you're going to run into some issues. For one thing, the country that they're leaving doesn't necessarily want them to leave, and it's not necessarily good for that country and everybody there. So that ends up causing a lot of legal issues. People are coming here illegally, and it has nothing to do with race. You know, it's just they're coming here illegally. They're already breaking the laws coming in. And it sets up a whole issue of all kinds of illegal activity. Because the current administration told everyone just to come to our country and don't bother with our laws, we've had a big surge in uh, the cartel and coyotes bringing people over. That leads to a lot of harm, okay? We've had not in the, just the last few months, we've had children, little toddler size, toddler age children thrown over the wall by coyote people. We had a nine-year-old girl who was uh, gang raped at the border. And stuff like that just goes on and on and on. The, there's floods of horror stories about what happens to these people. And you can go look this stuff up yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. There's also a lot of crime uh, attached to this stuff, a lot of st crime statistics that you can go look at that don't look pretty. Um, but like I said, you don't have to take my word for it. This is a short video. I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of stuff, but feel free to go look up anything I tell you and see if I'm lying to you. Another issue would be the transgender issue. So I've talked a little bit about this before, about uh, girls' sports and uh, the prisons, but I'll touch on it again here. We want to be compassionate to uh, people who are biologically uh, a man, but think that they have a female trapped inside them somehow. Uh, so we want to be compassionate to them. We don't want to hurt them on purpose, right? Of course not. No one does, I don't think. Well, you always have those like sadists that might, but, uh, you know, that's not the conservative stance. The conservative stance is that it's just not true no matter how they feel, but we're not going out of our way to hurt anyone who's like that, who suffers from that condition. But it just, you know, and, and you can go in, go look at my video on that. I might link it here uh, just so you can get more details on this. But here's the issue. You have male prisoners being allowed to go to female prisons because they say they're, they believe they're female. And that's horribly dangerous for women. We've already had a case somewhere in, I believe, in the UK where there was a violent sex offender put in the prison cells with female prisoners, and they were terrified. Okay, so does that sound compassionate to you? What is more compassionate, that we have structures and rules and that we follow them? Or is it more compassionate to let everybody do anything they want and no one's free because no one has any safety or security? You have male athletes performing in the place of women, beating women. We have voting laws. 
So the big deal now is to say that if you require ID at the voting booth, that somehow that's racist, because the idea is that um, that uh, minorities don't know how to use computers and they can't get IDs, which is absolutely absurd. How racist is that? But anyway, the point is, when you know the idea is to let anybody say they're anyone and come in and just vote away. There's huge potential for fraud in that. So then you're delegitimizing people who do go vote. Minorities who go vote. One minority votes for one person and then a bunch of people come in and sham the system and unrule his vote. Is that compassionate or not? I look at it this way. When you have a child and you don't discipline them because you think you're going to be their friend and you're going to do them good, what happens is that child becomes ugly. They become unruly. They become harmful to themselves and, and society. From my personal experience, I knew children growing up, friends of mine, that their parents didn't discipline them, and they ended up despising their parents. In the end, it's more compassionate to not give a child every single thing they want because children need structure and rules and boundaries and, and to be safe, but also they, they, they desire it, okay? They desire it. And just like my students in the classroom, when I set boundaries and show them, hey, these rules aren't here to to keep you from having fun. They're so we can have the most maximum amount of fun that we can have without getting hurt. Okay? You can't have freedom. You can't have freedom without rules. And so conservatives are about this structure and, and setting up a, what is the government supposed to do? Well, it's supposed to help preserve your natural rights. The only way you can do that is through laws. And when somebody is negating your rights, should we be compassionate to them and let them, uh, or should we stop them? As we saw in every example that I just gave you, not coming to the, the country legally, that hurts the system, it hurts uh, the citizens, it hurts the people who are being transported. There have been, like I said, children thrown over the walls and raped. When you try to change reality and rewrite reality, for people who are confused about their sexuality then or their identity then you end up throwing women into uh, women prisoners into the pit with possible rapists and sex offenders and people who are violent to women in the past and that's the whole reason they're in there to make sure that everyone gets the vote you end up a lot, you end up canceling other people's votes out if you defund the police because you think police are harmful well then all of a sudden Crime go, escalates, violent crime is on the rise, and it's dramatic and horrible. And so then the idea is, well, we got to get rid of guns, that's why. So you get rid of the police who enforce the laws that protect everyone. Then you take away their only means of defending themselves. I don't see the compassion in that. And the list goes on and on. So I hope this helps. I hope this kind of explains the idea. What is more compassionate? To let everyone run roughshod and run over your rights? Or to have some measure of order and law so that everyone has freedom and gets to enjoy their God-given rights. All right, everyone, until next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It's one of the most compassionate things you can do.